Hi. Now for this last part, we're told that a large number of mosquitoes hatch on the same day. And we've got to find the number of days after which only 10% of these mosquitoes are expected to survive. So give you a moment if you haven't tried this already, just to pause the video, come back when ready, and as usual, I'll work through the solution for you. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So find the number of days then after which only 10% of these mosquitoes are expected to survive. Well, we're looking at the probability then that our random variable t being greater than say some number of days has got to be equal to 10%. 10% 0.10 0 or just simply 1 tenth. So all I've got to do now is I know the probability of being greater than t. It's given by 225 over t plus 15 all squared. So therefore if we just put that in we've got 225 divided by t plus 15 and that's all squared and it's got to equal 1 tenth. So it's just a question of solving this equation and many ways to solve this equation. Do try different methods so if you like and compare your methods. The way I'm going to go though is I'm going to times both sides by 10 and both sides by t plus 15 all squared. If I do that then we end up with 10 times 225 which is 2250 and that's going to equal t plus 15 all squared. And what I can do here instead of expanding the bracket what I can do is square root both sides. I can, I'm going to swap this around as well. If I square root the right hand side here it'll be just simply t plus 15 and on the left here that will be equal to the square root of 2250 2250 but don't forget we could have plus or minus for something like that so in order to get t all I've got to do is subtract 15 from both sides so I've got t equals minus 15 plus or minus the root of 2000 250. A result that you would have got if you had expanded this and started to use the quadratic formula, you'd have got down to here. So if you put this through your calculator, what you'll find is that t turns out to equal two values. If you take the positive value, you'll find you get 32.434 and so on. Or you'll get, if you take the negative value, t equaling minus 62.434 and so on. Now obviously you can't have a negative number of days for a problem like this, so I'm just going to say that since t has to be greater than or equal to zero, as we're told here, then therefore t has got to equal the positive one here and if we give this to say three significant figures it's going to be 32.4 days okay to three significant figures 3SF for short. Alright 